Grand Rising, Grand Rising, Grand Rising, my beautiful tribe. Today is Wednesday, November 19th, 2022. But of course, this reading is timeless. Um, take what resonates, leave the rest. This is a collective reading from um, the African Goddess Rising Oracle by Abiola Abrams. And of course, we want to take a moment to thank Abiola Abrams for uh, dedicating time, energy, resources to her creativity and intuition um, in bringing together this beautiful deck for us to be able to draw this message from today. So we're going to keep this short, sweet, to the point. What do we have today from the African Goddess Rising Oracle? We have Urzuli Dantor etheric chords okay number 27 interesting 2 and 7 is 9 9 and 2 is 11 and 11 9 is the date today just a little numerology there so etheric chords number 27 open to number 25 ocean which is my lucky number 625 but okay and we're gonna put this here so you can see it good to go. Urzuli Dantor fought elbow to elbow with her people during the Haitian Revolution to protect mothers and children. She represents the healing of the Dark Mother. Urzuli Dantor's guidance. If it isn't wholehearted love, release it. Remember your, your worth. Embodiment. The energy cords binding you and someone you no longer wish to be attached to are strong. You must be willing to let go. Close your eyes. See divine swords of God, God, goddesses, loving light separating you and dissolving the cords between you. You are both whole and healed. Just as you shower to cleanse physical grime, there is also grime in the form of energy cords, also called cosmic ribbons, emotional cords, or etheric cords. Spiritual maintenance is required. Goddess declaration. I am worthy, compassionate, and whole. I love that. I am worthy, compassionate, and whole. Also, just the thought of um, the Haitian Revolution that brings up the uh, historian me. I just want to take a, a moment to say, you know, as a birthright, as walking, talking um, manifestations of God's vision of what life on this planet should be in your perfection, right? You have a birthright for freedom. You have a birthright for um, access to a home, to food, you know, these sorts of things are your birthright. So that being said, like I, like I said, this video was going to be short, sweet, and to the point. But um, energy cords that are connecting us not only to people, but to things, to theories, to thoughts, to um, ways of proceeding that the past have shown us no longer serve us, right? We want to cut those cords. That feels absolutely like the energy of today. I love this with this card. She's holding her little baby. The other one is just kind of, you know, grabbing onto her dress as little kids do. She's got her baby in one hand and the other hand is, is her knife. This reminds me almost of like Queen of Swords energy. It's just, shoo, we're just, you know, chopping through that mess. Anything that's not wholehearted love, we don't have time for it today, right? <laughs> okay, guys, enjoy your day. Take care. I'll see you soon.